Hello, welcome back to the channel. Yesterday now, I just got some brand new ceramic bearings. Now, whether you're into connects or you're into other types of hobbies, today I'm gonna to be testing the difference between basically all the different types of bearings that I've used in the past. So this includes obviously ceramic, uh, steel, regular steel, plastic, like the normal plastic that come with the standard Kinex uh, roller coaster sets. Uh, and I've also ordered another one called like a glass bead bearing. But either way, I'm just gonna quickly uh, go over the couple different tests that I'm going to be doing to show the differences. Uh, two tests, similar but different in their own way, and then one final test which is basically like the long term, you know, after six months, what's the damages, how well do they rust, how well do they keep their shape, bits start chipping off, and, you know, stuff like that. For me, obviously with the model roller coasters, they need to be able to handle quite a long, a long time being in use. I don't want to replace them every other time I build a coaster. So let's get into showing you exactly what tests I'm doing. So just a quick note here, like I said, these are all the different types of bearings. Just very quickly here, you've got plastic, you've got plastic with glass beads instead of like metal bearings, they're, they're glass bearings. You've got the regular steel here and you've got ceramic which is already, it's already on the test car. So the first test, as you can see, a free fall timed roll. So basically, see how long it takes for the car to come to a stop uh, with each type of bearing. Uh, it's the same height on the other side, however, I've, um, I've made Made this side shallower uh, just because the test after it it needs to be shallower um, but either way you just drop it and you time how long it takes to stop the second test is the height test um, and then the third test it, we'll just retest it in six months and, and see how much they uh, they get damaged over time from me using them just a quick note here this is the test setup as you can see like I said it's shallower on one side steeper on the other and I can drop it at the same exact height because when I hold it here, I basically just pinch my two fingers together. So this finger bumps the bottom carriage there and then I just drop it. And it's fairly accurate and you'll see how accurate that is by, you know, a lot of the results being really close together for the same for the same bearing on the same test. So yeah, let's just uh, let's just go over the results actually. So here we go. The first test I did was the timed uh, roll back and forth. The plastic did, well, horribly. An average of around seven and seven and a bit seconds. The steel got an average of about 17. The ceramic was very close, like I said just a second ago. Very surprising how close these numbers are. Very accurate. And even though the glass ones were, let's be honest, they were awful, um, but they were very close as well. So consistency, but not very good still. The second test was we had 90 centimeters and that doesn't refer to the height that actually refers to the length this this rod here which is the center point of the test here i basically had to take measure and measured all the way up touching this point this point this point so it was completely in line with the test track there and obviously the the height that it got to i just measured it i marked it with a little connector and then measured it. I then got the averages from testing three times on each one and we come over to this section. So in fourth place we have glass. It got an average of 3.9 seconds on the roll uh, the rollback test. It got an average of 58 and a quarter centimeters um, which with a 90 centimeter maximum height gave it about a 64 and three quarters percentage of uh, efficiency which means that if you dropped it from let's say a, a drop of 100 centimeters chances are over the next hill it would roll back if you made the drop you know 65 centimeters that's essentially what the percentages mean up to the next one the plastic this is the normal connects wheels um it is good to note at this point that the plastic was unlubed so you'll probably add maybe five maybe maybe ten percent on onto this you know there'll be about 10 10 maybe 15 percent better with some really good uh, lubrication but they still performed poorly seven seconds roll back yes that's almost twice twice the uh twice the performance there of the glass ones but still not very good 65 centimeter climb which a lot better yes a lot better 73 percent efficiency however now we get into the two the two really really good bearings now the ones we've been using for a long time here steel regular steel ball bearings we take the seals off we dry them out, take all the grease off, and we run them dry. Yes, that means they rust over time, but the test that I did here, it had a mixture. 
It had two new bearings and all the other wheels were regular old wheels. So this is probably a little bit lower than what you'd see on brand new steel bearings. 16.7. Now that's a lot better than the others. Almost double, in fact, what the others did. Uh, 77 centimeters, again, what's that, like almost 12, like 11 and a half centimeters uh, better, which gave it an 85% efficiency, which means if you had a 100 centimeter drop, you could probably make your next hill 85 centimeters. Now on to the, basically the reason why you probably clicked the video, the ceramic bearing. Obviously it comes in at number one, but wow, 18 points, uh, almost 19 seconds. And like I said, over in the time test, it's very consistent. Literally less than 0.1 difference between them. And that is what, two seconds more than the steel? And I had two new steel bearings. So that's, uh, yeah, it'd be a little bit closer with, with you know, four new steel bearings, but that's, that's still a big difference. And this, was really shocked me. 83 centimeters, 90 centimeter drop, 83 centimeters. That gives it an efficiency of 92.5%. Wow. Goes from 64 for the glass, don't really consider them at all, but plastic, which is where we're used to from the start of the start of, you know, the regular cars that come with the sets, almost 20% more efficient. So there we go, that's it. Ceramic, that's the one I'm gonna be buying from now on. It's way better and I have a feeling because it's ceramic, it's probably not gonna wear the same way that steel does. Because steel really does wear quite badly here with the humidity in the UK. If you're new here, I'd massively appreciate because we're edging very, very close now to coming up to 1,000 subscribers. So uh, would be great to hit that. That would be absolutely crazy. Also, if you have any ideas of future videos I can do, just leave them down in the comments and I'll, I'll, I'll probably do them. I want to make a bit more, you know, slightly longer format videos. Not super long, like I said. I don't want to make 20 minute videos. Maybe, maybe five minute videos, 10 minute videos. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.